Hey everyone, Matt Bat Matt here. Over a month ago, I finished seeing Blade Chronicles 3, and it became my favorite game ever, due to the combat, exploration, characters, the story, and so much more. Enough about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 though, because today, we're going to be talking about the future of Xenoblade Chronicles. Because the future is really, really bright. Each entry has sold really well, except for X I believe, and there might be more games in the future. Alright, let's head into the video. So I think by now we all know that Xenoblade Chronicles 4 is 100% coming in the future, and possibly a sequel to X. But first of all, we're going to start with Xenoblade Chronicles 4, because I have not played Xenoblade Chronicles X. I think it's pretty obvious now at this point that we're going to get Xenoblade Chronicles 4. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 sold really, really well. The pre-orders were up so much more compared to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And overall, with each installment, every entry has sold better and better than the last one. And plus, I think they can do a lot with Xenoblade Chronicles 4. At this point, we have no idea since Xenoblade Chronicles 3 isn't even a year old yet. My only wish for Xenoblade Chronicles 4 is that it releases on Nintendo's next system so it doesn't run at below 30 FPS and it actually has a higher resolution. Alright, since I haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles X yet, I think we should go to one of my friends, Vento Edo, and see his thoughts on a potential remaster for Xenoblade Chronicles X. For me, I just don't see the point of a remaster report. The original is already a huge game which pushed the Wii U to its knees, but trying to translate all of that into a Switch experience would be an entirely different undertaking. And if they did try it, I feel as though there'd be so many changes they'd make that at that point they might as well just make a new game, since they'd basically be doing that with X itself. You had to download DLC from the eShop in order to make areas load in the game faster because the game was that big. It was huge, it's the biggest gameplay game out there, and I believe it's even bigger than Breath of the Wild. So if Final of the Soft does decide to port it, it's going to be expensive, really expensive. And since the other complex is like really good, so, well... I feel like that now that we have like three Xenoblade Chronicles games, technically four, we have so many different characters and I feel like a Warriors game could really bring out the best of the best. And since I really love Warriors games a lot, I would really love the gameplay editions if there was a Xenoblade Chronicles one. Plus, we could potentially see Shulk and Rex and Noah interacting for the first time in the series. My only concern for this is that it's probably not going to run very well, even if it's on the Switch or the second Switch, because Xenoblade Chronicles has pushed every system it's on to its limits. I am absolutely terrible at fighting games. However, if there's a Xenoblade Chronicles fighting game, then I would pre-order it day one. Even if I got my ass beat in every match. Xenoblade Chronicles seems like it would do really well as a fighting game. Mainly because there's so many different characters and they all have their own gimmick. There'd be a lot of different and unique features found in this Xenoblade Chronicles fighting game, and plus if it was made by Arc System Works, then we all know it would look beautiful because they make their games look absolutely stunning. The Gacha in 2 was already horrible. I don't want a free-to-play mobile game that's based on Gacha. So we're gonna move on. You know how Final Fantasy's mascot is the Chocobo? Well, last year, Square Enix released a Chocobo racing game, and even though that wasn't well received, I think Nintendo could make... <laughs> I think Nintendo could make a Nopun kart racing spin-off for the Xenoblade Chronicles franchise. I don't know how good it would be, but I think it'd be pretty cool seeing Tatsu, Ricky, all in the same game together. First of all, so we don't have a Last of Us Part 1 situation, I think I think this should come like way after the Switch, like maybe the third Switch, so Xenoblade Chronicles can actually t fully take advantage of that hardware. I really like Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, but at its core, it's still a Wii game and you can really feel it. And I feel like if Xenoblade Chronicles got a full remake, 
then so much could be added to the experience that the remaster couldn't. But then again, I don't even think they're going to do this. It's just a thought, though. I love Zenith Blade Chronicles 2 so much. It's one of my favorite games of all time. But I can't play the damn thing in public. For a lot of reasons. Because of, um... Huh, well, let's see. The designs. I think everyone would prefer better performance. Because, to be honest, it's really painful to play this damn game sometimes. And with the Definitive Edition, I feel like they could add a lot more to to enhance the experience. And finally, the final section of this video. This is just gonna be my thoughts on fighters that could appear in Super Smash Bros. like Noah and Mio, because I feel like they have so much potential with their movesets being really unique. Their final smash could be Ouroboros. If not Noah and Mio, then I would really like a dual fighter. I would really like a dual fighter combo of Melia and Nia. First of all, I want to give a huge thanks to Moli Rianami because she recorded Zimbalik Chronicles X footage because I have not played the game and I don't want to get in the hassle of having to record using a Wii U or having to use my PC to record it. So thanks. Like I said before, I haven't played Zimbalik Chronicles X, so I want to thank Vento Edo for, for talking about his thoughts on a potential Zimbalik Chronicles X remaster because as an outsider, I don't know much about Zimbalik Chronicles X. Thank you.